Welcome to the instructional video for the Handbook of Non-Prescription Drugs. Most often this is actually referred to as the over-the-counter handbook or even more common just the OTC handbook or OTC. This is a particularly useful handbook print resource but it's very different than the other books that you've had probably up to this point. Um, if you're in PSA and you're used to dealing with drug monographs, that sort of thing, you may look at this book and think that, okay, you're going to be able to look into it and it's sort of a catalog of OTCs with various um, uses, uh, dosages, that sort of thing. That really isn't what this is about. This book is actually set up to be much more about helping you um, through patient problems based on the type of, of illness or ailment that someone has. Getting into it, the contents, if you see the way it's set up, it's designed much more around the idea of patient care as opposed to just being a resource of information about, you know, a given sort of set of drugs or, or um, over-the-counters. You'll see that there's some brief introductory material about the practitioner's role in, in, in self-care, but also you start to see that the sections are divided up into general categories of disorders. So you have pain and fever, you have reproductive and, gen and genital disorders, and then within that you've got more, much more specific things. So you have chapter 5 is a chapter specifically about headaches, or chapter 6 is about fevers. That's really the way this book is set up, and you'll see that there are, each chapter is sort of a rundown of a lot of possible treatments for things, a lot of different information. We'll go through it here in a second. So for example, dermatologic disorders. We're going to take a look at chapter 38, which is all about acne. So at the beginning, you've got a nice description about the particular problem, all the things that go into it, so the pathophysiology of acne. You've got a lot of, of tables, charts, figures. There's a lot of things in each of the sections that are going to be helpful to you. If necessary, you're going to have, of course, figures like this that will help point things out to you. You're going to have, um, like in this case, uh, descriptions of different factors, exacerbating factors in acne. There's a lot of charts like this that are going to tell you comparative information. They're going to go through a variety of different things depending on the context of what you're looking into. Um, it, of course, it'll give you information about clinical presentation and also it goes into the treatments. One of the most important things is it's going to give you a good rundown of pretty much every over-the-counter treatment as far as in this case how it applies to acne, the pros and cons of each one and how to deal with it. It's also going to give you nice information, like uh, in a lot of cases it will have hel ha handy, helpful flow charts that will actually help you in making decisions about treatments for a given patient. You'll also see that um, towards the end of each chapter there are actually a section of cases. So if you want sort of practice going through this, or at least an idea of how you would approach an individual patient with an individual case, you can go through this and actually sort of get a feel for how you would go about doing this sort of in the real world, so to speak. Towards the end, there's actually a section also about patient education, so information, you know, high points that you want to hit for someone when you're talking to someone about um, a given, in this case, acne. And, you know, key points, essentially a review of this chapter, as well as a good section of references. The OTC Handbook does a really good job of giving you other places you can look for additional information, not just specifically about OTCs, but about the affliction in general, as well as additional information to find about various drugs and various treatments. That's pretty much the way this book is set up. There is an index, but really you as you can see, you don't want to use this book the same way that you would use it to find basic information about a given drug or a given, you know, over-the-counter. There are some things that are general. It's a very good place to find general information, for example, about um, nutritional information. There's a good section about nutrition. It'll give you a nice chart that will give you, say, the daily recommended allowance of various vitamins and minerals. That kind of information, this is a really great place to come. Um, of course, it's also a great place to come when you want general information about treatment of a given disorder. But make sure that you understand what this book is all about before you dive into it. It's a lot different than your standard other drug monographs that exist in print. If you have trouble using this, or if you have any questions, make sure to ask a librarian or one of your pharmacy professors. And thanks for watching.